Hello and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. My name is Rosemary Orchard and in today's tip show, we're going to take a deep dive into customizing your control center. Control center on most iPhones and iPads is found by swiping down in the top right hand corner of your screen. If you are using an iPhone with Touch ID, that's the home button at the bottom, then you'll find the control center there by swiping up from the bottom. By default, Control Center looks much like it does on my iPad Pro here. You have a variety of options, and of course, each of these can do more than meets the eye. So let's dive in and take a look at those default options. So on my iPad Pro, I can simply swipe down from the top right to reveal the Control Center. Now, some of these options are lit up, and some of them are not. Let's start with the simple options over here in the top left. First, we've got airplane mode, which we can tap to toggle it on and off. We've got airdrop, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. However, if you tap and hold in the middle of this section, then you'll see more detail. So for example, airdrop is on. That's all I could see before. Now I can see it's specified to contacts only. Similarly, I can see my Wi-Fi network is the promised LAN, not just that Wi-Fi is turned on. Now, again, with these options, if you tap them, then you'll toggle them on and off. But if you tap and hold them, you'll see that you can actually go ahead and do things. So under Bluetooth, I could connect to any of my AirPods or my Apple Pencil, which is currently connected right on the top of my iPad. Here at the bottom, you can also see Bluetooth settings. And if I tap this, it will open settings and take me to the Bluetooth tab right away. Now I'll just open control center again. This tap and hold pattern is repeated in lots of places. So you can see right now I don't have any music playing and you'll notice that it's currently connected to the office home pod. And that's this blue flashing airplay icon, which previously was showing in the top right of that box. I'll tap and hold back onto this again, because as well as seeing the album artwork and indeed controlling airplay destinations by tapping on the airplay option, I can also control other speakers and TVs. When I tap on this, I will see all of my AirPlay enabled speakers and my Apple TV. Now you can see in the living room, my HomePod's actually playing. And if I mouse over this, then I can tap to simply pause it, or I can tap onto it to take over control of that, which is a very useful trick to be able to do especially if something is playing in one room and you want to play it elsewhere, you can do that from Control Center, as well as talking to Siri on your HomePod. I'll tap out of this and let's take a quick look at the other options which are here. So going across, we have Rotation Lock and Do Not Disturb. Rotation Lock is a simple on-off toggle. Do Not Disturb, when you tap and hold it, gives you options. For example, for an hour, until this evening, until you leave your current location, or until the end of a currently running event. You can also jump straight to the schedule options, which are in settings again. I'll swipe down from the top right once more. Next across, we have screen brightness. And when you tap and hold on this, then you have options for dark mode, night shift, and true tone. Now, sometimes these will automatically turn on and off. I know in my case, I have dark mode come on at sunset and go off at sunrise. If I tap back out of this, let's take a look at volume. Now you'll see my volume option is 100% and there's an icon here. This actually links with my option on the left, which is currently my dot connector. Usually this would say something like screen mirroring. And then when you tap and hold on it, then you see options to enable you to airplay this to an Apple TV or another airplay device nearby. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month 
and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.